<laughs> Love this guy. Zeus, if you've never met him, you're new here. This is Zeus the dog. He is um, getting a little older, but doing pretty good. So we're hopefully gonna go on a little horsey check. And if you're new here, horsey check is where we go check on the horses, say hi to everybody, and um, yeah, talk about some stuff. I'm gonna try to answer, hey, is there a little water on the lens? I'm gonna try to answer a couple of questions uh, that I was given um, uh, about a week ago. So sorry for the late response, although I did return an immediate message. But these two questions are, what are warts on horses? And what are chestnuts? So while we go do a horsey check, we've got our coffee here. We can go say hi to everybody. I will answer these questions. Luke is up top. If you don't know who Luke is, Luke is my boy. He has been with me for an awful long time. Probably, what has he been here for now? I'm here for six. I've had him a few years before that. A couple of years. Hey, buddy. He is up top because we made some changes on where everybody is uh, with the new horse coming in and with a little misleading. It uh, created a good opportunity to sort of shift things up a little bit. So, our new horse, which most of you have met by now, is here in the second paddock. Let's put my coffee down for a second. So let's go say a little closer hello to her. And in case you missed the last video, she is here for a little bit of training. Just do some interesting stuff together. Hello, big girl. How's it going? Says, let me check the other side. Horses like to check both sides of their nostrils. She's 20 and she is a mix between an Arabian and a quarter horse and absolutely beautiful. <laughs> She's got a mix between her old food and the food that we've got here. I get a few questions about that once in a while. As you can see, she's got a preference for the stuff we've got here, which a lot of horses do. And in case anybody is wondering, we have a second cut Timothy from Washington. What are you doing? Are you pooping? Why would you poop there? Oh well, happy she's pooping. We um, always try to keep track of how much horses go poo um, to make sure that when they are having new food. Hello, Lena. <laughs> that's, that's a really nice bedhead you got going on. I love it. Looking sharp. Damn. When horses have new food, sometimes they can get kind of picky about it or they don't eat much of it or they eat too much of it maybe or something like that. We want to keep track of how much they go poop. So if they don't go enough, then you worry a little bit about colic, impaction. Um, and if they go a lot, then you're good. Hey, big guy. Mr. Chitty Chat. As always, how's it going? This is Mr. Wild. He is a BC Wildie. He came from a range somewhere to the northeast of here and has been absolutely fantastic. It's been hot. We've had very, very hot weather and we're still have quite a few mosquitoes. If anybody's wondering how the fish are doing, if I don't make too much noise, you should be able to, oh, <laughs> good job scuffing my feet. They were there. Water level's really low, you can see. The pond has really come down. It has been very dry, quite hot. I think we got definitely mid 30s. And uh, some places got up to 40, I believe, which was pretty hot. We didn't, I don't think. Definitely mid 30s Celsius, which I think is somewhere in the 90s. And 40 degrees is 104, I think, Fahrenheit. Hello, Gracie. How's it going? You look alive and well. Still got skeeters. There's one, there's one, there's one. So we get them, we kill them whenever we can. And you guys get them too, don't you? There's another one. I know, you're itchy all over. So the horses get a little itchier. So we give them a little more scratches and spray them. Everybody asks me that. Well, do you spray them? Yes, we try to spray them. 
check on waters, as I said, a horsey check. We check the water, we check the fencing, how much food does everybody have? That kind of stuff. This is Yoka. She is Gracie's an Arabian, in case you guys couldn't tell if you're new. And this is Yoka. She's an Icelandic. She always flips her hay bag over. I don't put it on this side. She flips over to the top and loves to eat on this side. Don't know why. So, warts. Warts on horses. Uh, really common in the younger, little baby ones kind of idea. One, one of them has it, they kind of give it to another. And then over a little bit of time, I think, well, I think it's less than a few months or so, they just go away and then they never get them again. Horses that have never had them, to get them when they're older, can get them not only on their nose, but I think they can get them on their ears and belly. I can't remember now. Anyways, either way, hello, Roni. It's no big deal. Now, the weird question was, um, you've got a few. Can I just get those flies? Yeah. Uh, the weird question, or the weird part of that question was, was some people were talking about, there's Annie. Let's go say hello to Annie. Okay, coming through, big guy. Coming through. Um, somebody said that you could, you should pick them off and feed them to your horse or something weird like that. I was like, no, that's not cool. You don't want to do that. But a lot of times they'll just be on the nose area here. There'll be big bumps, big warty bumps. And he does not have any. And um, they aren't contagious to us. They are contagious to other horses, from my understanding. And no big deal. There's nothing to do. No treatment, no worry. It is cosmetic. So if you're wondering about warts on horses, hey, big guy. What? Oh, you got a fly there. What are you doing? Where have you got an itch? He's actually standing here waiting for something, so let's figure it out. Oh. Hmm. So Roni is here with Annie. Um, wouldn't call it babysitting duty at all. Oh, my goodness. Hey, big guy. Um, wouldn't call it babysitting duty, it just, Giving somebody Annie to for Annie to hang around with that is he's a very good stable no pun intended horse that um, oh, he's got something on this side a few flies because I'm standing at his back he can't swish his tail around right so or he won't swish his tail around it's actually one way to keep a horse from swishing you is just to kind of stand here and they won't swish their tail usually so. Uh, I wanted Annie to have somebody to hang around with, um, rather than being on her own. Uh, and uh, Roni seemed to take a liking to her recently, so I'm quite happy about that. And uh, yay! So, the other thing we can talk about are chestnuts. These things are right there. And there. And... Roni, you have very small chestnuts. You look at his, his are tiny. Um, and then we might have to go up to Lena to go see the other ones, which are called ergots. Ergots or ergos? Anyways, they're, bought, they're farther down. Uh, Lena's are usually bigger. So these ones here, even though Annie's just a little thing, she's got some pretty sizable looking little chestnuts here. Um, some people will worry about them. You know, what should you do? How should you deal with them? There's really nothing to do. Some horses will chew those off themselves. Obviously, Roni's got nothing. You know, just these tiny little bits here. Um, but Lena's got really big ones. And you notice they're bigger on draft horses, usually. And there really is not much to do about them. If they get really big, they can kind of get in the way. Some horses will just kind of chew them off or they sort of flake off or fall off on their own. Uh, they are smelly to horses. Um, there's an old wives tale. I don't know if it's true. My vet came up to me and gave me one a couple of months ago when he was here for whatever he was here for. I can't remember what it was, two, three months ago. And he gives me one, he says, you should put this in your pocket. I'm like, what for? Well, it smells kind of nice yeah, for a horse. You might, you know, get somewhere with it. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Um, but he kind of believes it. He kind of wants to see if it works out. Um, for me as well, I never did. I put it down and I forgot where I put it. Um, but there's an old wives tale that if you carry uh, one from a mare, 
supposedly you can calm down other horses or something like that. I don't know, never tried it. <laughs> What's up, man? What's that? You say you're ready to be fed? You are very chitty chatty. His are small as well. So let's go look at Lena. And there is a case to cut them off. Sorry, Lena, I gotta make it through the fence. Let's come through here. And take a look at hers. All right, look at the size of these things. And you can see that they kind of they kind of come apart a little. These ones are really big. This one's, yeah. See, it's like ready to sort of pop off kind of idea, but you don't have to. There's no reason to do it. You can just leave them. Um, and then back here as well. You can cut them off. Sometimes if you peel them off too much, they are connected. So you can actually cause bleeding. Um, and then we've got underneath here, we got the ergots. And these I sometimes will chop off when I when I do the feet. Um, but they don't they don't seem to have much feeling. You can do whatever you want. They're like a big callus kind of thing. And anyhow, science says that they're left over um, from vestigular toes. Vestigular, I think it's vestigular is the word. Leftover toes. That uh, they're just this little callusy weird thing. So Two questions answered. There really isn't much to do about them. They get a little long, you can definitely cut them off. Don't cut them too close to the skin. And try not to pick them off or twist them off and stuff like that. Don't do that. Better to cut them with a pair of nippers or something. Hello, big girl. How's it going? Do you want to touch? Right nostril. See, now my hands smell. Does she get calmer? How does she feel? Left nostril, right nostril more. It's a little bit cute. <laughs> See, Lena's made it all the way up here. You guys should go together. We'll put them together today. Hey. So it smells like Lena. It should smell like Lena now. My hand should smell. Sweetie, isn't she? She's just got such a nice, kind, soft eye. So, yeah. There's Eon coming, maybe. What does Lena think of her? Oh. She's chatty. Lena's looking for scratchings for sure. Anyhow. So that's the questions on the warts and chestnuts. Uh, any more questions on those, let me know. But for both of them, there's really not much to do. So that's that. So we're gonna get on with things today. It's been a very busy, very hot last week or two, actually, probably a couple of weeks of good hot weather, hot, hot weather, and uh, probably a good week of proper hot. Um, but very busy, very good. Everything's looking great, it's a little dusty looking. A little muted. We got some clouds today, which is cooler, which is nice. So we get a little bit more, more stuff done with horses because we try to give them a little bit of break when it's really hot. Otherwise they get all sweaty and uncomfortable and grumpy and kind of like us. So. All right, it's on with feeding time for me. Clean up all that kind of stuff and uh, play with horses. So I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully that's been an interesting horsey check. Luke's doing okay. I like that he's up here with me now. I get to spend more time with him. And usually I just let him out because he's a really good horse for this. I'll show you guys what that looks like. And if he'll come along, should be used to it by now. But as you can see, he's kind of been chewing up the grass around here, but I just let him. Put my coffee here for now. Invite him over. Let him go free. Just like that. One of a few horses that I do this with because I know that I can catch them really, really easily and guide them around. And I don't have to catch them with a rope or nothing like that. So just let them, let them cruise around a little bit. 
the other ones have to be on a halter. So, all right, that's it for today. Hopefully that has been interesting. I'll see you guys in the next one.